Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and fun way to create a colorful Bauhaus inspired design made exclusively from text. Go to File, New, and make your document 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on your foreground color and type in 50% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. To fill the screen with your image, press Control or Command plus Zero. Call up your Type tool and open your Character panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called Bebas New, which you can download for free at defont.com. The first letter I'll type out will be an ampersand. I'll use a 494 point size. Click on the color box and choose black. I'll set the text and to reposition it I'll call up my move tool and move it so the top and bottom of the letter is flush with the edges of the document. Click off the eyeball of the ampersand to hide it and press T to call up your type tool. Click on the document and change the point size to 250. Make the tracking minus 50. Tracking is the amount of space between each letter. I'll type out my first name and call up my Move tool to reposition it. We want most letters to be touching. To bring letters closer together, click between them and press Alt or Option plus the left arrow key. Call up your Move tool to reposition it and press Control or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool. Go to a corner. When you see a double curved arrow, press and hold shift as you rotate the transform counterclockwise until it snaps vertical. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Click inside to move it. Continue to adjust its size and position. To slide it to the left, press the left arrow key and then enter or return. Make a copy of the first name by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Go to the copy, press shift and slide it to the right. Call up your type tool and highlight the name. Type out your second name. If it's not quite as long, highlight it and increase its size until the last letter is flush with the top of your document. Call up your move tool to reposition it. Then call up your transform tool and rotate it around. We can close the text panels now. Move it so it's flush to the right edge, then press Enter or Return. Make all the layers visible. With the top text active, I'll call up my Transform tool to widen the name so it will ultimately be flush with the ampersand and the right edge of the document. Drag out each side until the name is flush on both sides. Click on the second name to make it active and call up your Transform tool. Repeat the same process. We'll make a composite snapshot of this image. Click on the top layer to make it active and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. Fit the image onto your screen and go to Window and Swatches. Click on the icon in the upper right and choose Large Thumbnail. Drag the swatches up onto the other panels. When you see a thin blue outline, release your cursor. The swatches panel is now nesting with the other panels. If you're not sure what colors you want to use, there's a really good website called ColorSchemeDesigner.com. Check out my in-depth tutorial about this site at Blue Lightning TV. Click on the analogic icon and drag the black dot around the color wheel until you find a color scheme you like. Then go to Export and click on ACO Photoshop Palette. It'll download onto your computer. Click Open. It automatically places all the colors of this color scheme at the end of your swatch panel. Press I to call up your eyedropper tool and click on one of the swatches. Call up your paint bucket tool and click on one of the gray areas. It instantly fills the shape with the swatch color. Now click on a couple of other gray areas to fill them with the same color. Continue filling the gray areas with different swatch colors until your entire design is filled. Feel free to use other colors in your swatch panel as well. 
If you'd like to make your colors even closer in hue, make a copy of this layer and click on your adjustment layer icon. Choose Hue Saturation. Make the opacity 50% and click on Colorize. Slide the saturation to 100 and adjust the hue until you're happy with the results. To intensify the colors more, make a new adjustment layer and choose Vibrance. Increase the vibrance and saturation all the way to 100. You can see the difference as I click on and off the vibrance and saturation. To see what your design would look like with this extra punch of color, click back on the hue saturation adjustment layer and slide the hue back and forth. If you want to increase its brightness, add one more adjustment layer and choose brightness and contrast. For this image, I'll slide the brightness up to 60. Feel free to manipulate the text combining fonts with different sizes, shapes, and colors. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.